Hello, welcome back. I'm Satman Dave. Today we're looking at Leeds and Manchester United in the Premier League. Of course, if you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, check out Sofa Score. Anyway, it's time to dive in. So Leeds United versus Manchester United over the last few seasons has been an absolute dream of a game of football um, for Manchester United. Over the last season and a half, United have won 6-2 at home and 5-1 away, but drew 1-1 uh, with Leeds at Ellen Road with a top performance from Calvin Phillips in defensive midfield. If you remember this game, Phillips was brilliant. Won 11 out of his 18 ground duels, 8 out of his 9 tackles. And he really killed Bruno Fernandes' creativity. Two chances created on the day, um, five shots, but really was limited by the man-to-man -man scheme of Kelvin Phillips. I think one of the big things when we're looking at these types of games, Manchester United versus Leeds, under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, that kind of like approach of being counter-attacking and playing your kind of positional rotation of where you want to go works really well against a team like Leeds United. Um, and what we saw in the 6-2, the use of Anthony Martial off the line. Scott McTominay's box to box play, if you remember, was so crucial. He was arriving really late in the air, late in the penalty area, grabbed two goals and an assist. But his ability to, you know, make the yardage up, you know, Bruno drifting left, Martial drifting left, and the space opening up was so, so important for this match. Victor Lindelof uh, playing in the last game for Manchester United uh, with Harry Maguire. Uh, and you could argue that Victor Lindelof has been, you know, United's probably standout centre-back out of a lot of them. I really do believe that. I think Victor Lindelof's been had a really underrated season. Um, and Rafa Varane ill uh, before the last game, so we could see uh, Victor Lindelof play this as well. And I think Lindelof's direct passing um, could be a big you know, asset for Manchester United. Uh, in terms of the Man United team, uh, you know, either playing 4-3-3, which I'd kind of prefer with Bruno and Pogba playing defensively on the same line, or what we've seen recently, which is that more of that 4-2-3-1 with Pogba kind of joining the attacker midfield line, but defending as a kind of two in possession. Um, the big thing that we mentioned previously, of course, with, with when you play Leeds, is you want to pull their markers out of position. They go man-to-man. -man, they're so aggressive. So with Ronaldo, you want him to come off the line. You want him to be receiving defeat. You want that consequent movement of Marcus Rashford maybe taking up the advanced areas. You want Sancho to be looking to run his man and also pick the ball deep. And Bruno Fernandes needs to, needs to move... Um, horizontally to pull that marker out of space for Paul Pogba to enter that zone. I think Pogba is going to be vitally important in this game. The big thing with Pogba is he needs to be very, very quick in possession, deep in midfield. If Pogba takes too many touches in this match, will lose the ball, leads a transition and score a goal. It's as simple as that. Pogba needs to be fast on the ball. Where you want to see Pogba getting on the ball and taking people on is in the final third after United have played through the lines. You don't want Pogba deep in possession because that will be an absolute recipe for disaster. Saying that though, Paul Pogba for me has been really good in recent weeks. His performances uh, for Manchester United have looked very, very good. Um, you know, especially against Burnley that first half when United were getting him the ball in the final third. We saw a very good Paul Pogba. We saw an old school Paul Pogba that you kind of, we, you know, kind of expected, um, you know, over the years that he's, kind of that guy to dominate the attacking area. Leeds are missing Bamford still. Uh, they are missing Calvin Phillips. They're two big, big players for Leeds United. But Rafinha and Jack Harrison have arguably been their kind of um, best players this season. And Dan James. And you know what? I think Dan James is scoring here. I really do. I just have that feeling. Dan James is looking very confident right now. He's taking shots. Uh, you know, recent games, the brace against Aston Villa was just a really, really confident and positive Dan James, which, again, I feel like with Manchester United, it was a bit disappointing to let someone like Dan James go because I think tactically there's always a there's always an element there where, you know, you've got that pace, you've got that a player that's going to defensively work very, very hard. And I feel like United have lacked, you know, players like that this season. You know, players that just dig in for the team, players that kind of, you know, don't really have any ego to them and it's all about the team, it's all about what, what works out for them. Um, I think for Leeds as well in the, the defensive midfield area with Robin Robin Cock, that could be an area where Man United kind of look to um, open them up in that defensive situation. So tactically for Leeds, kind of expect them to play 4-3-3. They will go man-to-man -man on Manchester United's uh, DMs. They'll be man-to-man -man all over the pitch. Cock versus Bruno is a big, big battle whether Bruno can move him out the way. Uh, you can definitely run off click. 
Scott McTominay showed you can run off click really, really well in this game. So that's something that Pogba needs to do. And he Pogba to be active in that moment. Uh, I think Jaden Sancho on the right-hand side is the way to go. Uh, Thurpo is an attacker. He's a player that likes the ball. He's a player that likes to get aggressive with these moments. I feel like having someone like Jaden with his ability on the ball could be really important. And Jaden Sancho... Um, and Alex Tellis, I think, are quite important for United back end of the season. They'd be my set piece takers uh, for the rest of the season. I just feel like that's going to be how United can do it. But I do think it's about moving that defensive midfielder, moving the centre-backs with, with movement off there and then opening up that space for Pogba to attack. Really, really important for Manchester United. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, again, you know, his movement needs to be a bit of a decoy. Uh, to allow the space to open up, but then very much getting into the penalty area. The interesting side with Calvin Phillips, obviously less comfortable at tracking Bruno into the box. Cock will be absolutely fine being a centre half. So at times we might see Leeds drop into a, you know, drop into a kind of back three, but that kind of will open up more space maybe for Sancho to move into that inside position, similar to Christian Eriksen, which overloads that area with Diogo Delo on the, the attacking stretch. But, Bruno Fernandes has been directly involved in six goals in his three Premier League games against Leeds, five goals and assist, scored a hat-trick in the reverse fixture this season. Uh, barring fullbacks, Bruno Fernandes has played more progressive passes than anyone else in the Premier League this season. He's also created the most chances. He has been big this year. Pogba, uh, in terms of per 90, has got more goal-creating actions than any other player in the Premier League at 0.98. So just under a goal-creating action per 90, which is very, very good. Uh, will it be Fred? Will it be McTominay to play in that deep area? Um, I'd probably prefer... Maybe Fred in this game, because I thought Fred played really well against Leeds uh, with McTominay's energy. Like, you want McTominay playing box-to-box in this, and we got Paul Pogba to play that role. So maybe Fred, who's made more ball recoveries and one possession more in the final third and one more tackles than any United player this season. Man United could, in fact, go for um, Scott McTominay in midfield with Fred and then play Pogba from the left like he did in the opening game of the season. I think that as well works really well. Again, Leeds is man-to-man. Pogba pulling um, Luke Ayling inside. Tellers on the overlap could work. And then it would allow Pogba, it would allow McTominay to maybe play that box-to-box role that he did so well uh, in the recent fixtures versus Leeds. I like that shout. It's a great shout. Pogba from the left-hand side. We're going to go with that. That is going to be the start in 11 that I want to see Man United use against Leeds United. I mentioned Dan James and his pace. Why Victor Lindelof is the one that I'd select over Varane and Maguire as the number one for this match is the pace. We know Dan James is quick. We need a player that's going to be as quick. Um, I think that's a really important thing for Manchester United to kind of deal with that in behind the defence because that will come. You know, I think the the, damning statistic is that Meslier and David De Gea have faced the most shots on target in the Premier League this season. There's going to be a lot of shots in this game. There really is going to be a big, big game in terms of chances and so forth. Very, very open. Um, And players amongst the outside, players are outside the big six. Rafinha's created more chances than any other player this season. Only Fernandez, KDB and Trent have created more. He is an absolute danger man for Leeds United. I'll tell you what, if there's one player that I could take from Leeds um, to play for Manchester United, of course, it would be Rafinha. His ability to go right wide, to go inside, to, to create, to link with teammates is so, so good and so fresh and something that United very much need to be on, need to be dealing with. So I think it's all about movement off the ball. It's all about pulling Leeds' man-to-man scheme around. Um, I think the, the big thing with, with Leeds going forward is hitting United on the counter-attack. It's, I think it's driving at the likes of Harry Maguire with the ball at the feet. And that's where I think Victor Lindelof is so important for this match. I'd even go as far as going Lindelof and Maguire, uh, Lindelof and Varane are probably more suited. If Varane does get over the illness, I think he comes in. Just because of the pace and the the agility that both those players have, Leeds have got very agile forwards. It's not playing Patrick Bamford. It's not that physical battle. So I feel that, that ability to to move and be ready and confidence as well as a big thing. You know, I feel for Harry Maguire at the moment, he's getting absolutely hammered by the fans. Um, and I do feel for him from a mental perspective, you know, we'd have to think about these people as humans. But at the same time, uh, United need to win games. And I think Varane and uh, Lindelof is best suited for this. I think Pogba in midfield with Fred, having that energy in there. Big game for Paul Pogba, big game for Manchester United, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Of course, Leeds versus United is going to be an absolute classic in the Premier League. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. Loads of exciting videos coming soon. And also get into the comments below your suggestions of content that we should make on this channel. I'm Mr. Monday. See you later. Goodbye.